Hi there, my name is Paul Rasprich and I am a, a visual art specialist for the Foothill School Division and I'm here in Cayley, Alberta right now and I'm working with the Stories Matter uh, program here in Cayley. Um, the first thing that I would like to talk to you about is uh, if uh, you want to be an artist, because not only do stories matter, but uh, also art matters. And uh, to be an artist, to be a writer, uh, one thing that you should have and you should start carrying around with you is a sketchbook. Okay, so uh, my students here, they've got their sketchbooks and they've uh, personalized them. I prefer a sketchbook like this one because it is a... Uh, uh, black hardbound sketchbook and it's not a coil one. The coil ones tend to, uh, the pages tend to fall out. So this is a very durable uh, sketchbook and uh, usually the first assignment that I give somebody uh, regarding their sketchbook is that they should uh, personalize it. Okay, so this person um, has decided to personalize it with a lot of cats. Obviously this person likes cats. Um, this person likes, it looks like uh, they like cats and they like motocross and uh, probably planes as well. Okay, so the first thing that I would say once you get your sketchbook is uh, you obviously you want to put your name in it up here so that uh, people know that it's yours. They'll know it's yours if you personalize it. Um, if you decide to go with uh, cutting out pictures, like making a collage, when you cut out the pictures, you can glue them on with a, uh, a glue stick. And then what I recommend is to get some of this product. It's called uh, Podge or Mod Podge. You could use white glue, but white glue takes a while uh, to dry. Um, this stuff you can get at uh, most art supply stores. And um, I would just brush it on. Okay, so um, your sketchbook is a great place for you to, uh, if you're a writer, to write down ideas for stories. It could be a good journal. Um, you're going to do a lot of uh, drawing in your sketchbook if you are uh, more visually uh, inclined to do your art. And um, I just really recommend you get one of these. You can get one of these at any local art supply store. And... Um, they cost around uh, ten dollars. They're not ex that expensive. If that's uh, out of reach for you right now, um, all you're going to need for uh, I'm going to do some drawing lessons on uh, on uh, YouTube or Google Drive or wherever it's accessible right now for you. Uh, all you need is a pencil like this that's sharp and a piece of paper and uh, and you're in business. So uh, let's get started on our first drawing. Okay, so we're going to start off. I'm not going to tell you what we're drawing, but I'm going to draw really slowly. And if you get frustrated at any point along the way, just pause the video and just follow exactly what I'm doing. And uh, this should be fun. Drawing should always be fun. It should always be relaxing. It's what I do um, probably two hours a day uh, when I get home because I'm also an art artist besides being a teacher. It is a fantastic way uh, to relax and um, it should be enjoyable. Um, if it's not, then maybe uh, art isn't for you and that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to start off uh, we're going to start off with a uh, shape here. It's going to be uh, like this. It's going to look like kind of a big oval. And then um, I, I don't want you to draw, I want you to draw fairly lightly at this point because uh, then you won't have to do a lot of erasing. And what we're doing here is we're making some what I call construction lines because you're going to erase them later. Again, I'm not going to tell you what we're drawing. I know that you have a lot of questions and you can't wait to know 
what this is going to be. You'll be surprised uh, what this is actually. Some of you will have maybe guessed already. And um, actually, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. It's a little bit too far out here. Some of you are already probably uh, guessing what this might be. Something I like to do whenever I'm drawing is I like to listen to music. I tend to like to listen to uh, uh, Spanish guitar music and that's what my students like so I'm going to put some on right now. doing this shell. I know most of you have guessed what this is. It's a snail. shadow underneath to make it look like that it's actually on the ground. It's kind of blobby on the bottom. And I don't think uh, snails necessarily have eyes as such, but they've got these kind of antennae go out like this. Snail's deceptive how quickly it can actually move. And I'm just going to add a little bit of, and I'm going to be talking about shading in our next videos, how to get tone in your work. Um, and uh, shading is just, in this case, just moving the pencil back and forth a little bit, like this. We're really going to get into shading in the next. Uh, drawings, but for this one we're going to start off slowly with a snail. I'm just going to add some shading right on this side. So add a few uh, little dots, give it a little bit of texture. Now if you really want to uh, add some uh, interest to this, you can always draw a landscape behind. 
If you want to put it on a log, you could put it on a log. Add some uh, bark on there or whatever. Okay, so that'll be our first drawing, and uh, so there you have a snail, but join me again uh, for the next video and we'll draw something else.